How important is that connection with, with Jake and how have you guys developed that connection you know, through the spring and, and now through camp? It's really important, I think, that the you know, QB center relationship has to be good. And I mean, besides the snaps being all good throughout the whole camp, he's been really consistent. We just have a good relationship. We've known each other since high school, so it's been a lot of fun. He talked. He's talked about how all through high school he just remembers you just beating his team up and him just having to watch you. But now he gets to play with you. What's it been like developing a relationship with not just him but all the other Whitfield guys that are on this roster right now? Yeah, I think it's really cool. Like uh, seeing a bunch of guys from all over the Whitfield. And yeah, Butler was wasn't too good uh, when the Crater was there. I think they won like three games his high school career or something. But. Uh, you know, his talent sh showed, and uh, you know, he's legit. He's, he's a really good player, so I'm happy to play with him. Phil, this is your sixth collegiate camp, but, I mean, it's your first at Pitt. Did, did you kind of have a little extra juice, being that it's your last one and it's also kind of your first one here? Yeah, definitely. It's it's different. I, I love the, the setup we have here, just with the, even being at the hotel right down the street. Um, everything you need is right here, and, and uh, practices have been competitive. So it's been a fun camp. Well, we've heard this camp a lot about the freshman receivers. From your perspective, what kind of options could they be for you this year and how they stood out? Yeah, well, we expect them to, to play. <laughs> Who knows how much right now, but they're making plays every day. That The whole class really has, has played well, and they've been consistent. So we heard Saturday it was a pretty run-heavy dose of offense. How frustrating is that for you at times where you know you guys need to work on the run game, but you kind of want to sling it a little bit? Yeah, I under, like as quarterbacks, we understand we need to get the run game going, and it's hard against our defense. You know, it's built to stop the run, so we know we're not going to have as much success against them. But you need to work it in, in that environment. You've heard a lot about how you've taken charge and kind of shown your, your Pittsburgh grit, uh, for lack of a better term, of the, showing your toughness and being a leader. What were goals that you set out for yourself to kind of set that tone as this team's quarterback? Yeah, I think a lot of that has to be uh, toughness in the game, being able to take hits and uh, stay in the pocket, stay strong. Um, so I know it's, it's tough to do. And as for our D-line, I, I tell them to, to get after the quarterback. And as many hits as you, as you can take as possible to, because that will um, throw the quarterback off, the, off his game. Are there extra things off the field that you do as well to kind of be like, hey, this is my offense and I'm in charge here? Just like extra man, workouts and stuff? Yeah, I just, I take command every time we're out there, walk through, just keep me. Um, you know, yeah, we've, we've been really scripted uh, So, with what we're doing. So we're, we're trying to, to keep the guys off their legs and any uh, downtime we have right now. Yeah. You, had the spring game, you had the spring game, you've had some scrimmages, but the next time you strap them up at Akershire, it's, it's a real game, your first game as a Pitt Panther. How excited are you for that Saturday to come? I'm pumped. I'm ready for it. Uh, it feels right being in that stadium. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's so cool, that environment. And we watched the Steelers game the other day. Um, it's, it's just a, a awesome feeling to have grown up, watched so many games there, and now I get to play in it. Hey, Phil, uh, how much of a weapon do you feel like the tight ends can be for this offense this year? Gavin being back, obviously big, and then Epps is an interesting guy with, with his frame as well. What have you seen out of him, too? Yeah, I think all the tight ends are doing well, and they can be weapons. I think um, attacking defenses vertically down the middle of the field um, is, is really I, – I love throwing the tight ends, so um, I think they're, they're great targets. They've been catching the ball really well and running well. Specifically with Gavin, what stood out to you about him? Um, you know, he can jump and, and catch the ball. You know, you saw him hurdle the guy last year, but uh, especially in the red zone, being able to elevate and make contested uh, catches. We, uh, you know, talking about the freshman receivers, it seems like Kenny's a guy we've heard a lot about. Uh, you've been around for a lot of years. You've played with a lot of guys. Is there anybody he reminds you of from what you've seen out of him this summer? Um, well, it's hard to say one guy. I just think he's really good with his fundamentals. And he used to play quarterback, so he understands, like, on a, on a deep ball how you have to hold the line and, and kind of what, what the quarterback's looking for. So he's been really good with that. Uh, yeah, fundamentals, footwork, all that stuff. We've heard a lot about Bob Mead and MJ Devonshire and them going at it right now. What's it like seeing those two compete when you're the throw, one throwing the ball and you're just like, oh, man, what's going to happen this time? Yeah, it's tough. MJ, he's, he's a 
really good corner, but um, we, we still go at him because he's going to make us better. And Bob's been making a lot of plays, too, um, on the one-on-one -on -one against MJ or whoever. Uh, you know we're going to take those. Phil, are you a talker? You know, I, I see the wide receivers and DBs chirp it up against each other, but do, do you run your mouth at all after a big play? No, no, no. <laughs> I never, never talk. Okay. Yeah. How, would you, how would you describe the energy that Bob brings to your college? Um, he's got passion. You can see the passion. He, uh, yeah, he plays with a little bit of fire, and so he gets juice with, with the uh, DBs. Once they start talking and it gets competitive, it's fun to see. Um, yeah, his passion come out. How how badly he wants to win. So what do you uh, what do you weigh now? Two forty five. Is that where were you in January when you got here? Like, have you gained weight or? I was like two thirty. Yeah, so I've, I've gained weight. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling good. Thank you, Phil.